Today I'm gonna elaborate on my previous ultimate gaming question. Can you game with Aptex earbuds? Let's find out. Selamat sore! Good evening everyone, Kenneth here and today I'm gonna do another testing and hopefully this will be my last, my once and for all testing to rule it all. Can you game with the true wireless earbuds? And on my previous videos, we found out that the Halo GT1 Pro and the QCY T5 have gaming mode and they are thus the best bet if you want to game with true wireless earbuds. But the thing is, even with the best true wireless earbuds for gaming here, you will still have a couple milliseconds of lag. Even though it's very minimal, it's still 200 milliseconds, which is one fifth of a second. So, you know, we have this codec called Aptex, and I've read somewhere that with a phone that supports it, actually, it can rival the numbers on the QCY T5 and the Halo GT1 Pro. So that's what we are going to find out today. Does these Aptex earbuds really can perform that well? And actually I picked these two because I feel these two are, you know, like one of the most popular ones and these are below $30. So you can see these will apply with other earbuds that supports Aptex like even until up to a hundred US dollar budget because they all use the same chip that is QCC 3020 chip unless the very premium ones that uses the QCC 5000 series. That's, that's a topic for another day. So that's enough rambling. Let's find out how these two performs in PUBG. All right, so we're starting off with the Halo GT1 Pro here. And as you can see, we are with my brother's phone, Redmi K20 Pro. Also, if you notice, this is SBC because the phone does not support AAC. I'll put the warning message later on. And yeah, let's just go quickly straight onto the gaming mode on uh, results. And as we can see, the number doesn't change much with my iPad, with my iPhone 10. It's still around 200 milliseconds, so that's good. Next up is the Halo GT1 Plus and this is an interesting one because I just found out that these can connect to the phone like both earbuds are connected to the phone and you can see the special message here Aptex True Wireless Earbuds so it's a special connection and let's see how it performs and 250 millisecond that is so so great it rivals the gaming mode on result and this is on default setting i don't change anything on this developer option setting but let's try out just for trying sake i will put the aptex adaptive mode into low latency this is not supposed to change anything because this is using aptex not aptex adaptive and yeah the numbers are consistently higher one frame there all right so moving on to the next one qcy t5 and you can see here, it is the same story as with the GT1 Pro. It connects to the phone with SBC. And yeah, let's just go straight to the gaming mode on a result again. And we can see the result is 234 and 250. That's the same with basically my previous testings. All right, moving on to the next one. This is the final one, Transmart Spunky Beat. And this is an interesting one because it's different from the Halo GT1 Plus. Only one is connected to the phone. It behaves the same way as if it's connected to iPhone or iPad. It's just written app text right there. And you can see there, 500 millisecond. And the second one is 467, pretty bad actually for gaming mode. And yeah, let's just for trying sake again, try out the Aptex Adaptive low latency mode here. And nope, it doesn't change anything. These earbuds only support Aptex, not Aptex Adaptive, which is present in the QCC 5000 series. So now the final test is let's try out and change these earbuds into SBC and see if the latency improves and we can see right here it's basically not improved. It's 517 millisecond. Uh, we know now that it, you better leave it in Aptex rather than going to SBC for gaming because it doesn't improve anything. All right, so that's it for the video and what do we learn here? GT1 Plus 
This Halo is a surprise. I never know that when paired to an Android phone that supports Aptex, this could be really, really such a good like earbuds. It performs just as well as like even the gaming mode earbuds. If you own an Android phone and you can be sure that your phone will support Aptex, this GT1 Plus probably will be a better option than the other GT1 Pro and the QCYT5 because it just sounds better too. And on the other hand, Tronsmart, Spunky Beat here, yeah, it lost the entire battle here. It, like the basic QCC 3020 chip that only supports Aptex, not Aptex TWS, it performs 400 millisecond, 500 millisecond, it performs just like that bad. So yeah, I don't recommend the Tronsmart for gaming, but well, 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 what do we have here? This is a surprise. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Do subscribe for more videos like this and True Wireless Earbuds reviews and technology videos in general because I love them. And that's pretty much it for me right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kenneth and I'll see you in the next one.